Good morning, everybody. We're at it again. We're in Liverpool today. It's the Bates Motel pick. At the moment, we've got the Bates Motel here, Paul here, uh, Ash from AJ Magnet Fishing. He's just turned up. We've got JJ, who's a local Liverpool lad. He's come out again with us today. Um, We've got another new lad called Neil. He's been with us a couple of times now. And we've got our lovely Tracy and Alistair from Welsh Dragon Magnets. He's just turned up as well. But we're going to give this area a back today. All the rest of them are down there. Oh, so, get I'll get back to you in a bit. Don't forget, guys, I'm on TikTok as well. So jump over onto TikTok. Give me a follow. Cheers. Alright, first chuck. We've got the back axle of a wheel of a you know push bike. We have that. I do not know whether it was a little bell off a bike or something. Not a clue. But then we've had this. Which is very heavy. It's got pioneer rope on it. Looks like it's got a couple of bolts there. I haven't a clue what it is, I wish it was broken off at that point. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Alright, get back to you in a bit. Alright, we've had a few more bits. I'll show you now. A piece of rebar. I have this power pack, whatever that was for. Commodore. Oh, Commodore 64 power pack. So that's that one. We've had this bit of hose. I don't know if it was a hydraulic hose or just a garden hose or what. It had a bit of metal in the end of it. We had a few bolts, some sort of metal. There's a lot of this weed coming out, guys. You can see over there. And that fancy bit of curvature steel. A couple more bolts. There's a bolt. A bit of tubing. We have that pipe fitting. Maybe it was off a barge or something. Oh no. That can help out. And another cog off the back of a wheel. Been a random little scrap. A broken pair of nail clippers of all things. But that, I haven't a clue what it is. I don't know what it was off. It's hollow. And then another back sprocket off a wheel. Not much left of that. Alright, get back to you in a bit, guys. Alright, so on this chuck. With a bit of remnant bar in. Let's see what else we've got on here. Got another piece of flat bar, I don't know what that was off. I a clue. Some sort of small square section. Don't know, maybe a chair of some sort. A bit of plastic trip thing bag. It's obviously a handle of something, or your briefcase or something. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Not much left of that bike, is there? Yeah. Move your front forks, move your down piece, your top piece have been there. That's where your light used to go years ago. Yeah, that's well rotten. No one's fish around here. Not big so. A bit more plastic. Like mint bag. And shiny two pence there. Yeah, cool. In the money already. Right. He's chucking it down by the way here now, guys. Uh, as you can probably see. But we're all still at it. 
and the boat is coming through at the well now. Alistair's set up and he's over there. He's our resident scrap man. Uh, AJ's put some, I'll take you up to him after. But he's put some um, bunting up for the coronation. Uh, Jubilee, should I say. Right, get back to you in a bit. Now, we just have that which I'm going to say is part of a pram and this on a load of wood cable and it's a isolator that'll have had fuses in that at one time they call it fuses probably right, get back to you in a bit I've just had the old fence spikes that they use and one of them lovely legs again, I don't know if these are on tables or on baths cast iron baths maybe I've had a few of them in the past check me old videos right, get back to you in a bit hi right, guys, we've got that wheel out down there we'll just have this out now, all I can work out is it's got two cables coming off from the bottom there there's two cables up here one's a power cable and one's like a monitor cable so I'm going to presume that would be bolted to the floor this is probably telescopic and it would have had a monitor on there like in shops and whatever you for display purposes why that's in a canal we don't know and that's all I can think of that being and if anybody else knows different put it in the comments alright get back to you in a bit oh we've also had another four pence on the magnet there we go but it all goes into the pot alright, get back to you in a bit alright, just have that piece of tubing I don't know what that was off had a piece of cast elbow maybe you used for conduit or something and a little front door key alright, get back to you in a bit alright, just add a bit more scrap out that out uh, I don't have a clue what it's off. I'm going to say fly more, lawn more. Maybe. Maybe it was off a lawn more. I don't know. Or a pram. Who knows? And we had this wing mirror. Of course, it's the right hand side. KA. A. KA 47. Four Probably off a motorbike, but we're going to say an RS2000 because it's got the letter R on it, maybe, who knows <laughs> right, get back to you in a bit, it's still raining by the way getting wet and my back is absolutely crippling me so I probably won't do all day as well not in this weather, right, get back to you in a bit right, on this one I don't know what that is just a bit of scrap metal I'm going to say that's a rim, part of a push bank, maybe That's a handle, and I'm going to say that was a handle of a knife. That could have been a nice find. Unfortunately, it's only the handle. Uh, bit of wire. This bit of wire. This is still coming up. That's pretty solid, that. That spike on the end of it. Maybe it was some railing, some type of railing with that being on there as well. A little flat piece, remember going across. Who knows? Okay, right, get back to you in a bit. Right, guys, you can't go anywhere without getting a chab can. My first chab can. Brilliant. Okay, right, get back to you in a bit. Well, guys, I'm going to say that's an old Tonka toy. You reckon? I reckon an old sunk so That's what I'm going for anyway. And just a lot more shrapnel. And a bit of a bolt. Right, get back to the back.
I don't know what that is, maybe it's something fishy, I don't know. And we've got another chub can. And then what I think is the remains of a padlock. That's what I think that is. That's what it looks like. That's where the keyhole was. And obviously that's been cut off. Yeah, padlock. Okay, get back to you in a bit. I don't have a clue what that was. That's some sort of hole there. And it went down. It reminded me of like a shoe hole. But I don't know. Probably wrong. And then a bit more plastic. More of that weed. There's loads of weed in here, guys. Oh, not another chap can. Yep. That's three chap cans now. I love that. Alright, get back to you in a bit. Alright, on that choke, we've had a little spark plug. Yeah. Bit of shrapnel. Oh, a five pence piece. Looks like a five pence piece to me. Alright, get back to you in a bit. So on that one, we've got another chap cam. Got a bit of flat plate. Got some sort of electrode. I'm gonna say that's out of the boiler, some sort. A shrapnel, bit of weed, and in there. Don't know what that was off. Got some weights in that as well. All right, get back to you in a bit. That one, got a random piece of bar with thread on the end of it. And another piece of random flat bar. And loaded the shrapnel. Yeah. Alright, get back to you in a bit. Alright, on this one, we've got another one of those fence posts pulled weed off it. But yeah, there's the fancy curly end. Alright, well, there's that. And we had a bit of mesh, don't know what that was off. Another chap can. What a shrapnel. And then we have that, which is part of fencing. And there is a bit of fencing down that end like that. So that's what that is. Alright, get back to you in a bit. There's a magnet down there somewhere. Alright, grab part of the wheel. Off the, obviously off the kid's toy or something like that. And then, Get it off the magnet. <laughs> Had the bottom half of a push bike. That was your old pedal. I'm presuming, yeah, because that's where your back wheel would have gone. That would have been your pedals. That's that. Oh, no, damn it. Another part of the bank. Another chap can. And a bit of shrapnel. Right, get back to you in a bit. On that one, we've had 10 pants. But look at that, guys. That's an old monkey wrench. Don't think that'll clean up, but we'll give it a bash. Maybe a couple of bouts went fast. Beauty, that one. Cleaned up to me. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, get back to you in a bit. Right, there you go, guys. Cleaned up a little bit. They might even clean up completely. Nice. Right, get back to you in a bit.
Ash has just found that. And that was off the back plate of the television, obviously. We'll hook onto there. And then swivel round and lock in. Happy days. Might find the monitor shortly. Alright, get back to you in a bit. Alright, so on this one, I've got a mixture of stuff. Got the remains of a shovel. And I mean the remains of a shovel. Got a bit of a uh, hang iron with all of them to use for shelving brackets and what have you. And what else have we got? Got a big piece of rebar, some more plastic. Piece of rebar. I don't have a clue what that's all. Another chap can. That's like one of them magnets that you put on doors. Something. Another chap can. Another chap can. And another chap can. I think that's about six chop cans I've up to now. Oh, and there's a cheeky penny on there as well. Cool. Alright, get back to you in a bit. Another chop can, guys. What looks like the remains of a speaker. A bit crumbly in the end. And we've had a set of clocks off a motorbike. They're not turning. But a couple of them seem to think that it was off a Honda of some sort. Who knows? Oh, that's an odd thing. I don't clue what that is. Nobody knows. Drop it in the comments. There's some weight in that as well. Oh. Uh, what else did we have? And a bit of seal bar in. A little bag lock. We had a handle of a pad. Right, get back to you in a bit. Right, we've dug that out. Some type of G-clamp. I'm going to say it's a ball joint puller. That could be wrong. What else did we have out? We had a single plug socket. UK plug socket for all you Americans. A smooth line padlock. So I'll give that to Ash or Alistair. To pick it. And that little mushroom, I don't know what it is, quite weighty. A couple of big bars. Actually, they look quite solid bar actually. That could have been off that. That another piece of road. That was off that. I'm going to say, be even more in pin or something like that, maybe. A little bit of a road sign. Shovel. Empty can. And another big piece of rebar. Alright. We'll get back to you in a bit. Oh, we also had. Seat belts. Is it out of an RS Cosworth? We don't know, but it does say Ford on it. it does say Ford on it there. We probably won't work it out. Just there, I think. But yeah, and another big piece of rebar there. All right, get back to you in a bit. All right, that's where we are today. There you go. Rimrose Valley Country Park. Now I want to read the history about it. There's the history, just pause the video and you'll find out about it. Alright, that's it. Alright guys, 
I've just moved a bit further down from where the hall was. Some new builds going on down there. So I was just expecting scaffolding and stuff like that. And I've literally done an edge dip. All I've done is thrown the magnet down that side. I pulled them few bits out on the same pull. Look what I've pulled out. Only a Lee Enfield 303. Almost complete. All it's missing is the stock. We, we, I have been on the phone to Steve Forrest and he's identified it as well. Uh, he's going to say he's putting it down to a World War II. But it's complete. It's got the firing pin in it. Everything. It is lock, stock and barrel. That is my find of the century. It really is. Unfortunately, as Steve said, that's going to have to be called in. So I'm going to have to ring the police now to come and take it away. But what a piece of history. A Lee Enfield, guys. I'm just, I'm well over the moon. <laughs> that is just, literally, it, it was my first dip. And I just can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I just want to get it on video as much as I can. I really do. There's not many of them that come out. Not many at all. I like to say, it's complete. Apart from the start, it's complete. Even Steve Forrest said it was on his bucket list to find one in such good condition. Unfortunately, nine times out of ten it will just get destroyed. So right, I'm going to make that phone call and I'll get back to you in a bit. Thank you. Hey guys, still waiting for the police to come but so fishy. I'm going to presume it's some sort of light fitting. That, I haven't a clue what that is. Don't know. Give in on that one. Got the letter E. <laughs> Got an old hammer head, so it's hammer time. I'm still, I'm still buzzing. I'm still buzzing guys with that thing. Found that. Oh, I can think of it, it's a bobbin of some sort. Don't know. But it's wood. It's weird. And we got that. I don't have a clue what that is. Just having a clue. A scrap. And that, that was obviously some sort of motor inside it. And a load of copper windings. That's the outer casing of it. <coughs> And a couple of bits of random scrap. And it's a very old sign. It's that old, it's got holes in it everywhere. Huh? Metal bar in. Undo it. A bit more flat bar, probably out a window or something like that, I don't know. Another chap can, they seem to follow me. Another bolt. A bit more random bar in. And that's about it, guys. Looked it out. Oh, and obviously on that magnet then. Just like fencing. That, that fencing, oh, it's behind me. It's all fencing like that behind me. So guys, I'm, I'm still over, over excited. I really am. Bit of an line. Bit of walking stick. Ah, oh, it's just a bit of tubing. Alright, get back to you in a bit. Uh, police, still waiting for them. How about that? Part of flat steel. Had that, it's got a bit of a thread on the end of it. Uh oh, no, no, it's hollow. Had another piece of bar. 
going on an old motorcycle exhaust. I thought it was something else at first, but it's not. It's full of gunk, as you can probably see. Rotten as a carrot. a bit. Right. That's copper. Rocket launcher. <laughs> Torpedo. <laughs> right guys, I've wound JJ up. Yeah, they're coming walking down now. <laughs> I think it said exhaust anyway. Uh, get back to you in a bit. I really did think I was into something else at first. I couldn't make my mind up. But especially with it being that colour, like a copper colour, I thought I'd found a mortar. But I'm not that bloody lucky. Well, I am that lucky because of the end field. But you, through that hole you can smell the two stroke. Uh, it's obviously Alistair one at large Welsh Dragon Magnets has said that it's off an early 50s um, 50cc race bike and that's what it'll have been for Right, get back to you in a bit I've had this some solid tubing I can say some type of roller of some sort but when I smack it on the side it starts hissing so and a few interesting things here today I'm still buzzing though guys still buzzing and the police still aren't here hope you get go over there and to my tiktok as well please help me on that one i do go live on that i have started going live on there now oh follow me on there as well all right get back to you in a bit all right guys just had another part of a sign or whatever it is we also had that weird handle and at the bottom of it a wheel I don't know what that was. Bit of metal tubing. And an old car pulp. Right. I'll get back to you in a bit. The police still haven't been here, but when they're here, if they're allowing me to film it, I will show it. Okay. Get back to you in a bit. I right, just found that around thing there, yeah, but I thought it was just off a metal drum. A lid. I don't know what it actually says. Industrial fire hose reel. So that's what it was. That was just the side casing. Where a hose reel would go through. Alright, cool finds today guys. So police officers. Alright, say no, we don't want the face yet. No. Yeah. Right, says without his face on. <laughs> Police officer. <laughs> Police officer number two. I mean, there's the culprit yet again. I'm still buzzing. And I'm hoping these lads give me some good news. And not bad news. It's a shame to destroy that. Absolute shame. Right, get back to you in a bit. Right, the police. Like I said before, I'd shown you a little bit of clip of them. There's the car. I'll be up to that right next to mine. They come all the way from Southport, guys, and we're in Liverpool, which is a fair few miles away. Um, but we're waiting for the armed forces. They have sent them email pictures across, but they want to have another look at it before they confirm whether I can keep it or not. I really do hope I can keep it. I really do. Right, get back to you in a bit. I'll let you know the outcome. We're just all tidying up at the moment. Oh, this is uh, going to get another load of scrap or going in the van. We shipped everything. Right, get back to you in a bit.
All right, so as you can see, we're all packing up. That's a rough idea of what we've had out today between us. Some stuff there. But can't even get round. It's that muddy here. Look at that wheel. That's well cool. I like that wheel. Vintage. All right. Catch you all again next week. Unfortunately, the gun has been taken away. You can't find out whether it's been deactivated or not. They have said that they will put a request in to be careful with it, and hopefully, I can have it back. But there's no guarantees. But there is a backlog, and it could take a few months. So I don't know whether I will hear anything or not. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you all again. Oh, I'm not out next week. But I'll be back out the week after, which will be my pick. So I'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Have fun.